that angle. That one works well. And the tick mark. Twisted piece. Oh, I'd high, okay. Wait, that means you're high, right? Yeah, you're high. So I'm gonna take off more over here. Okay, that's pleasing. That's acceptable. The line should line up with the other, which look at that, it does. So, there's my center line. So, here's the top of the block. But I only need to play connect the dots from here. On up a little. There. And then I come down to this end, I bring this over until that center line mark lines up. And then we come in back down here, we go mark. I'm going to go point and point. And Close. Hey, 
hey, hey, I likes it. I want something a little more blocky than that. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna put that in and I'm gonna relief the whole thing down. Help if I had a pin that worked. That's a hammer, that's a mallet. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit different. And it's gonna soak it right up. 
<laughs> Just watch it running down those pores. So there you have it, a joiner's mallet. This one was a lot of fun. This is actually going to one of our top patrons, uh, Michael. He is the man on Patreon. And uh, I, for everyone who reaches that level, I offer to make a tool for you. And one of the things we do is actually hash out what do we want. And so he picked the tool and he picked the verse uh, Jeremiah 23, 29. Uh, look it up. It's actually kind of a, a cool one for the mallet. And that's why I chose to put a flame on there. So he said, you know, surprise me, whatever you want to make with it. So I like the purple heart with the flame. I thought that fit out really well. And the sycamore is just really beautiful. I, I love how this one came out. This is a really, really happy mallet. So I hope you like this, Michael. And uh, if you want to see more, I have a pile of videos on making joiners mallets. I think I've made six of them now. Uh, I actually have one where we go live and actually talk through the whole build and, and do the entire thing in about a two hour session. So if you want to see that, I'll try and leave links to those down below. It is one of those projects that anyone can do. This is a fantastic beginner's project because it looks scary. Making a tapered mortise and a tapered handle that matches really just seems scary and daunting and difficult, but once you try it and actually put a little bit of work into it, it goes really easily. And most people can make this right off the bat. It is a surprisingly fun skill to learn. And it is one of those that kind of encourages you because once you do this, you realize, oh, well, I, I guess I can do other things that I didn't think I could do. So give it a try and have a little bit of fun with it. If you do have any questions, thoughts, ideas, snide remarks, throw those in the comments down below. I do read through all of them and it helps out the channel. Anytime you comment, like, share, subscribe, you know what happens, it helps us out. Thank you. And if you want to be one of those amazing people like the man over here, Michael, and uh, think about becoming a patron on Patreon because the patrons over here, the, between them and the members and people who've clicked the thank you button down below, you guys sponsor the channel. You guys keep us going. And without you, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. You keep the lights on. You allow me to do things like this and have a little bit of fun. I think that'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. A few people have asked me why I have so many mallets and I've done so many videos on making mallets. And honestly, it's because sometimes you just get into a hole creatively. You just get into that writer's block and you just need to hammer out some ideas.